action references, which I loved. And I, I, I was curious, going through it, why include so much science fiction in a book that is about the scientific, not the fictional, search for life? I think that science fiction and science have a very complicated, tangled up relationship. And we know that when we think about science fiction, the whole premise of the genre is that it takes known science and takes it a few steps farther, many, many steps farther to imagine and extrapolate new possibilities. And we're also familiar with the sort of simple ways that science is inspired by science fiction. For a Star Trek example, the communicators in Star Trek, the original series, look a lot like flip phones. Mm -hmm. Or rocket propulsion was first imagined in science fiction and then was figured out in actual science. But beyond that simple back and forth, I think that there are a lot of ways that, especially when it comes to the question of alien life, science and science fiction are really engaged in the same project from just somewhat different approaches because they're both very imaginative ways of exploring the possibilities of what might be out there. Science is very imaginative. You know, making a hypothesis is an imaginative act. Devising an experiment is very creative. And then at the same time, science and science fiction have some common goals. One of them is trying to understand our place in the cosmos. You know, they do this in different ways. Fiction does it narratively. Science does it by trying to understand that context and, you know, are we special or average? How do we fit in? But with no other examples of life, we don't know how we fit in. But we do have lots of those examples and lots of ways of testing out answering those questions in fiction. Okay, we're using the word life a lot, and I know that uh, this is a hazard asking you this question because we could go on for hours, but in the simplest way, how do we define what life is? I actually have a really easy answer, which is we don't. We don't have a good definition. We, there have been lots of attempts. NASA has what they call a working definition, but one of the ideas that I found most exciting in researching this book is that looking for a definition of life might actually be a completely misguided avenue of inquiry because definitions tell us what words mean and we don't care what the word life means we want to know what life is fundamentally as like a property of the universe similarly when we're trying to understand gravity Defining gravity doesn't help. Say, oh, gravity is the force that holds me to the Earth. That doesn't bring us any closer to understanding anything about it. We had to come to a deep theoretical understanding of gravity through